All right. Uh, good morning. Good evening, everybody. Hopefully, everybody is doing good. I uh, want to make sure you guys can see me and hear me, and then we will go ahead and get started. Don't want to talk for five minutes and find out you guys couldn't hear me or see me, <laughs> which has happened in the past. So I always check on that first, but then we'll get into the uh, topic here, uh, which I thought was fitting because I just witnessed uh, my friend's online marriage. And uh, congratulations to Brian, by the way. So let's see here. <laughs> okay. All right. So you guys can see me and hear me. Okay. Good deal. All right. Uh, so, hey, Tim, good to see you. Larry, good to see you as well. And there's the, uh, the newly married uh, Ryan. Congratulations, by the way, Ryan. And if you guys haven't checked out that video, I just uh, put that up uh Oh, just half half an hour ago it, it went up. So, uh, hey, uh, Giovanni, good to see you from New York. And uh, good morning, uh, Ryan and Chu. Good to see you guys. And my tube, hello. And Jack, good good morning as well. And uh, hey, Mike, good to see you. Mike's over and uh, hanging out in Dumaguete, chilling. So, and WF and Jorge, okay. Let's see here. So that wedding was technically an American wedding. Yes, uh, it is. Uh, the Philippines does recognize it. Uh, oh, thank you, uh, Ryan, by the way. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, I will buy you coffee from all, all the all the help you've helped me over the, uh, the last year that we've known each other. I don't know how, how long has it been, a year? I, I don't even know now. Going on, going on a year, but... Yeah, um, I will uh, actually I'm going to film Ryan and his wife when they first meet. So that sounds funny when his him and his wife when they first meet. But when I when I say meet in person. So. Let's see here. Um, I predict that Gio's here to tell us secretly that the Philippines just opened and his subscribers have first dibs. You know, that's funny that you mentioned that because I just read um, in an article that the Philippines is already saying that uh, they've agreed not to put any more countries on the red list. Um, and uh, they do want to get open. They want to get back to the original plan that they had. I, I just read it this morning. It came out in, in an article. I think it was yesterday it came out. And uh, so I, I know they do want to get back to being open again, back to the original plan that they had. Um, I think they are just waiting for a little bit more data on this new variant, and then uh, they should uh, hopefully be back to being open where you guys can, can get over here. Now, my friend Ryan, now that he's married, he can actually, um, he's coming over on March 1st, and it takes about 30 days for the whole, uh, to get all the paperwork and everything and, and the visa, and, and then he'll be open over here, so. Well, they do have those things called prenups, Jess. <laughs> uh, evening, Gary. How are you doing? John, good to see you. And Mark. And uh, JJ, good to see you as well. So how are you doing, uh, Paul? Uh, I just had a, uh, an, a video that just came out about 45 minutes ago about my friend getting married um, online. I was honored to be the witness which is uh, pretty cool to, to be a witness online. I think that uh, is definitely a first for any vlogger here to be the witness. Um, so that was cool. That was cool. Uh, hey, Climate, good to see you. To, the answer, the, to answer the question, no. Um, yes, and, and, and that's why I was going to mention this. So is the marriage necessary for a serious relationship in the Philippines? Now, Honestly, more and more, I do see Filipino couples who aren't getting married and they just live together for quite a long time. However, if you think a Western girl dreams about uh, her wedding day, it's 10 times fold in, in the Philippines. Um, they really are gaga about marriage and it's always going to be something that they want to do um, much, much more than a Western girl, for sure. I would say 10 times more. And same with family, you know, uh, kids and, and things like that. So 
yeah, it uh, it's a big deal to a Filipina. And it can be a deal breaker for a lot of them. Can you find a Filipina who will, who will stay with you and not get married? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you can. But, uh, it, and I, I know the argument, it's a piece of paper. I, I agree with that. I, I do. It's, um, but for, for Filipinas, it's, it's not. So anyway, uh, I'm getting married online tomorrow, but the difference is that we are together in Dubai. Ah, well, that's certainly a, a, a difference. And congrats, by the way. Congrats. So serious relationships inclines knowing and trusting each other amongst other things. Yep. Yeah. Uh, how you doing, Thomas? Good to see you. And hey, Ray. So, well, I mean, we can always talk about anything. You know that, you know, we always start off with a certain topic and we always segue into something else that always happens here. So <laughs> it's it's no problem. Uh, marriage to a lot of people is a sacred bond, especially in the Philippines. Yes. And, and that's uh, another good point. This is a very religious culture here. And marriage is for Catholics. It's a sacrament and it's a very, very big deal. You know, um, again, can you find a Filipino who's going to live with you and, and, and be OK with no marriage? Yeah, you probably can. But uh, trust me, in the back of her mind, she's always going to want to get married. Um, much, much more than uh, a Western girl. You know, a Western girl, I feel like you, nowadays, you could find one who would be, who would agree that, okay, you know, we don't need to get married. Um, in fact, a lot of them may, may, may not even want to get married nowadays. You discuss other relationships and how it is in the Philippines, but you never discuss your last serious relationship and what you learned, good or bad about it. Well, there's not much to uh, say. I mean, my last serious relationship, um, YouTube was not really a good mix. Um, but I have actually discussed it quite a bit, Joseph. Uh, you just maybe haven't uh, watched. But I don't talk about anybody's personal relationships. My own personal relationship, I'll talk about it. But I don't want to go into total details about it, but it just didn't work out. Uh, YouTube and and other things are I would I would cite as the main reason for it not working out. Any idea to propose matrimony to a Filipino? Any idea? I met a girl from Mindanao in January and I want to visit her as soon as possible to propose marriage. It's no different than what you would do in the West on, you know, some romantic uh, place, you know, like a, a beautiful waterfall, a beautiful view. Try to tie it in with something that she really likes. Um, if she likes, um, you know, a beach and, and a, a moonlight, you know, a, a moonlight uh, walk and under the stars, then that's a perfect uh way to propose to her. It just depends on, on something that she likes or something that she likes to do and maybe kind of tie that into it. So uh, for me, absolutely. I plan on having children with my future woman. And I believe that a stable household is important. I don't plan on registering the marriage in the U S. Okay. You will never be forced into another marriage. <laughs> yeah. You refuse to be stuck. Okay. I mean, everybody has their own opinions and, and uh, everybody can is free to do whatever they want. Um, I'm just mentioning that Filipinas, trust me, do want marriage much more than their Western counterparts. So, so greetings, uh, John, from Arkansas, 630. Okay. So, Paul, the world is shifting on the virus Courts are ruling in favor of employees in USA against mandates. The biggest healthcare system in USA just said they will not require a vaccine. Opening is next. Yeah. Uh, there are requirements for Philippines to acknowledge and recognize the online wedding as not automatically recognize the. Yeah, that's true. There are. There, there definitely are. So. In my experience, higher quality Western women, even in my generation, tend to want marriage. Yeah. I'm not saying that all Western women who want marriage are high quality. Yeah, that's true. Go to Barkai and spell out your 
spell out, will you marry me with roses on the bed? That's what my ex wanted. <laughs> nice. Uh, you'll be better off personally when you get off YouTube. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't so much of an issue of uh, me getting off of YouTube. It was her um, because a Filipina, let's, let's say your Filipina girlfriend is on YouTube. You know, for me, I get 95% of my viewers are older Western guys. You know, it's not young Filipinas flirting with me online. But for our young Filipina, she's got 95% viewers are Western guys as well. And they are flirting with her, even if she's got a, a boyfriend and it's, it's visible and they know about it. It doesn't stop it. I mean, I've even had guys when I was with um, my ex who would send her gifts. And uh, I don't know where that becomes, has ever been acceptable to send another guy's girlfriend gifts. Um, and, you know, so those are some of the problems and I'm not going to go too much into it. And it's not really her fault so much, but um, it is what it is. So I'm hoping to have children soon. Well, you guys can can work on that in March when you're together <laughs> right away. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, Cause Mike, Mike's always my cameraman when we uh, hang out together. But you know, uh, friends go their own ways and uh, I'm probably going to move out of here in a couple months. Mike is moving away from here. Um, that's the one thing uh, with the Philippines, you know, you meet a lot of good people and uh, they kind of come and go out of your life. You know, it's, it reminds me of the army really. The, the army, you would spend one year at a duty station or two years if you're married, and then you would move on You'd to another duty station. You'd retain some friendships and other friendships you would just, you know, not. And uh, you're constantly having to make new friends. And, and that's kind of how it is in the Philippines. You know, people are kind of moving and go, coming and going um, often here. So... So you have to report that marriage to the Philippines consulate in USA to make it legal. Yeah, there you go. So, hey, uh, good morning, PW. Just saw the wedding ceremony. Great. Good luck to them. Yeah. Um, Ryan's, Ryan and I have become good friends. Um, it's funny because uh, I met Ryan online. I haven't actually met Ryan in person. I've met a lot of people just through my YouTube channel. And, and so just having my YouTube channel and and making a lot of good friends has been worthwhile to me because I've met a lot of really good friends. So, uh, the problem is not that quality women don't exist in the West. It's the power they have over men due to the corrupt divorce and family courts in Western countries. That's very well stated. That's very well stated. Yeah. Hey, John, Hey, Gio, can you get the POC for the online wedding? Um, John, uh, you can reach out to uh, Ryan and Chu Adventures. If you see them up here, Ryan and Chu Adventures, you guys can search that in YouTube. They have a channel and they even have the whole process of getting married online uh, on their YouTube page. So if you guys want a good channel to follow uh, Adventures and, and the online marriage thing, uh, you can jump over to their channel. So new variant seems more contagious, but less likely to cause death actually sounds like good news. Everyone gets it, but very few get very sick and die like the flu that we've lived with forever. Yep, you're, you're right. Um, all the data coming out seem to lead, seems to point in that direction. So that's actually good news. I'm engaged with Filipina. Part of our understanding is we will get married in Taiwan. Being a foreigner, the Filipino culture will not recognize me on equal basis, so I will not marry there. Well, I don't know why that would make a difference whether you marry here or there. Are you talking about living here or getting married there? Because um, I don't think where you get married really makes too much of a difference. Did your ex accept gifts and flirt back? Um, she accepted the gifts. And uh, no, not really. She wouldn't really flirt back, but, you know, there. she definitely never would say like, hey, I got a boyfriend that's not appropriate or, or something like that. She, she never did that. So 
anyway, it, it led to other problems and, and other things. Um, do I think she's a great girl? I do. I'm, I'm actually very proud of her. She's grown her YouTube channel. Um, she's started a clothing and online clothing business. Uh, she's helping out her family. Uh, I think she's buying a house now. And uh, I'm actually very, very proud of her. And I wish things hadn't ended the way they ended. But it um, doesn't change the fact that I'm, 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 I still care for her and I'm, I'm definitely proud of her. So I think the part of the masculinity and entitlement of Western women is due to constant validation, knowing the power they wield in the legal system. They know that they have the upper hand. If something goes wrong, Western women know that they hold the cards. They really do. And um, I don't like that. I don't like that either. It is, it's open for you, Ryan. Once you, once you get your marriage validated on the, at the Philippines consulate, it's open for you. It doesn't matter if they open or not. So uh, if you aren't doing for her like a man is supposed to, I can see her accepting gifts from others. Doing for her like a man is supposed to. Okay. That's kind of an encrypted message. Uh, Asian and Latina women are a lot more of a pleasure to be around and are sweeter and more feminine. This goes for both in and out of the U.S. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I've seen that craziness on YouTube with Paul's breakout and how quickly his ex's YouTube went up. Everyone talking crap like he's a chick boy. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, YouTube is not really good for a relationship. It's OK, really more for the guy, but for your girl to be on there. You know, it, it can create problems. So. I'm never going to marry a woman in America. Her parents and her are going to be very, very rich to begin with. I'm dating several rich women long term, so all. <laughs> I uh, just watched your latest video. I want to offer a blessing. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you, Ray. I, I'm sure they appreciate that for sure. Yeah, li listen, I, I don't want to talk about their relationship or even, even really mine so much, but I can promise you that Mia and my ex, uh, before they had met us, their life situation was much, much different. And their life situation now is much, much better as well. When did I go to college? I went to college in the 90s. Yeah. Breakup. Yeah. Wow. What province was she in? Geo? You could have gone to her home. What province? For, for who? I'm sorry. I, I don't understand the question. Yeah, it, it just happens. It's just the way it is. It's it's not the end of the world. Life goes on. So anyway, I'm, I'm happy for her and she's doing well. And so I appreciate it. Yeah, that's it, it is kind of, you know, um, I, I don't find it acceptable. And it's not it's not totally her fault. I, I don't really blame her so much. So but anyway. Yeah, I, I hear you, Joseph. I hear you. I missed that part of Wonder Duck's statement. I definitely agree that Western women have too much power in the U.S. I, I don't think, it, not only in the U.S., I think the same is in like Canada, Australia, and places like that. Yeah, absolutely. Make sure to get Philippine Cinemar before getting married. Yeah, you need that. Absolutely. So. Hey, Jean-Pierre, uh, please disregard people who criticize you and the great services you offer. I've analyzed each and every one, and they are the ones who need scrutinizing. Keep up the good work. You're awesome. Well, thank you. I, I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, more and more positive stuff are coming out about this new variant. So I really don't uh, think it's going to be too long before the Philippines reverses and starts to open up things again. I, I really, I, I think the information we're getting is positive, actually. I built a house there and intend to live there and intend to live 
the House will always be hers, but the no divorce and the government always sign with the Filipino citizens. I insist we marry on. Uh, okay, I got gotcha. you. I understand. Unvaccinated if married online. I believe you can still, if you get married online and uh, you are unvaccinated, you can still come over. I believe you have to do the full quarantine. Yeah. Yeah, the Cinemar, right? You don't need to do the Cinemar. That's only if you get married here. Yeah, you're, you're right. So. Need to change my YouTube name. I can, can't tell when people are trying to respond to me or address Geo. Yeah. Right. Quarantine time is different. Now, right now, they reverted to five days. It was three days. Now they're talking about changing it back to three days. So hopefully that will happen. Last week, U.S. stocks sold off because the Omicron fear stocks soared today because of all the good reports about how mild Omicron symptoms are. Some say it's a great chance to get natural immunity. Yeah, I, I've heard that as well. Yeah. Uh, does Ryan live in a school bus? No, he, he has a house, um, but he recently built the school bus into a, a home. He did all the work himself which is pretty amazing. And um, he's kind of an outdoor survivalist type uh, guy. And I don't know if at some point he plans on just getting rid of the house, but uh, I know he's, like he says here, he's contemplating it, right? I asked Ryan during the online marriage video, he was sitting inside a school bus, but no reply. <laughs> I, I think he was, right? I, I think he was. Ryan, uh, were you sitting inside the... The school bus, I'm pretty sure he, he was inside the, uh, the school bus. Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, good morning, uh, Elsa from uh, Davao. Good to see you. Ah, construction is still going on here. Um, I was going to head over to Olongo Island, but it was pretty rainy this morning. So if the rain lets off, I will go and take a little trip across the water and go to a little island. Uh, yeah, you were inside the uh, schoolie. Is the Philippines issuing student visas? I don't think they are. I don't think they are. Um, because right now there are no face-to-face -face classes anyway. So everything is online. So I don't think they are issuing student visas. So... So I don't understand why someone would say a province girl is better to be in a relationship with than a city girl. I think both can be good. I, I agree with that, Jeff. I agree with that. I think that sometimes a city girl is actually better here because a lot of times they have a bit more exposure. They're not so reserved and they also sometimes speak a little bit better English. In the province, they really don't have the exposure to the English like they do in the city. Now, you can get the best of both worlds. You can get a girl who grew up in the province and um, and then move to the city for work or something or to go to school. So, Hello, uh, Rowena from uh, Taiwan. Good to see you. And uh, Chris, good to see you. On websites for entry, it says you can be unvaccinated, but it's confusing because they just say you need to quarantine longer than vaccinated. So when it opens, all are welcome. No. Now, when they when they open for tourists, when they came when when they opened up before, they specifically said vaccinated only for tourists. Now, if you come in on a on a retirement visa or as a, a married individual then I believe you can come unvaccinated. But as far as the tourists, when they initially had set forth the rules and stuff, they had said vaccinated. So, so we had someone comment last week that they just got their student visa to come here. Huh, interesting. So I, I, I don't know anything about that, but uh, something you could try for. Around when do you think they'll start... I 
I couldn't tell you offhand, honestly, but I personally think it's still going to be around January or so. So my wife is a city girl, but province girl at heart. Yeah, I, I don't think, you know, initially when I started, when I came to the, the Philippines, it was kind of pounded in my head that you, you need a province girl, but I don't really have that same opinion anymore. I have found that there are just as good of city girls as there are province girls in my opinion. So I, I don't really think that's um, necessary either way. So what are your thoughts on what month the Phil? I, I still think around January. I don't think it'll happen this month, but I do think it'll happen in January still. The online wedding seemed to me a way to get immigration status with these couples eventually have plans for a follow-up in-person ceremony. I'm pretty sure uh, some of them do. I know um, I know both Ryans, I think, want to do some kind of a celebration in the Philippines. So, yeah, well, thank you, Robina. I, I appreciate that. And uh, how long into a relationship do you consider to be serious? I don't think there's any particular length of time. I think it's just when you start to genuinely care about her and I th and you feel the same from her. So I don't know if there's an exact time frame. For me personally, I, I don't know. I don't know how people put exact time frames on some of these things. I, I just think every person's a little bit different personally. Watching from Jen Sano. Oh, well, well, thank you. Living in General Santos City. Uh, I mentioned this before. I, I have a video on General Santos. It was back when I didn't have a good camera. I, I think I was literally filming with this thing here. And no gimbal, so it was shaky, no proper audio. Um, so there's a lot of places that I did videos originally that I would like to go back and redo because the video quality and sound quality just weren't very good back then. Still need the Cinemar do marriage conflict if marriage performed online. If Filipina could be married, it would make a big mess. Yeah. Thanks for the clarification. Come on, turf situation. You have to be vaccinated. I understand. Can't wait for the Philippines to open soon, I hope. Hopefully. Hopefully. We'll see. I don't know. I think people think that province girls are more traditional and maybe more wife material. They think that maybe they will take care of the husband better, maybe. I, I don't know. They're not party girls. So, yeah, I, I agree. I don't think it really matters. Now, I, have, I haven't really found that one or the other is any better, you know. Like I said, initially when I moved out here, I really was like fixated on a province girl because it had kind of been hammered into my head. Every video on YouTube I watched, everything said, get yourself a province girl. But I honestly, I don't think it really matters so much. Province background is, is a plus. <laughs> hey, JJ, uh, I have been to Thailand. I, I uh, was in Thailand. I had a Thai girlfriend at one point. I've uh, been researching where to set up. My office in Thailand looks beautiful and their luxury condos in Bangkok and Chiang Mai are really cheap to rent. The, the infrastructure in Thailand is better. I mean, I won't lie to you. Thailand, Vietnam, Malaysia, better infrastructure than the Philippines. Cambodia, no. But uh, the, the other Southeast Asian countries, they, they do have better infrastructure, in my opinion. I was married online in August and my wife and I are planning something in person in the Philippines next year. Yeah, that's that's the way to go. There's a lot of people that, um, that I'm hearing now that are, that are getting married online. So women control their relationships to a large degree and no man can interfere in the things unless women let them. I never respect a woman that doesn't guard her relationship. Can't consider online wedding no matter how desperate I get told. K-1 visa process will become void if married online. Uh, oh, yeah, you, yeah, you would. You would have to do, uh, well, you'd have to do the regular marriage visa. 
So now like Ryan and Chu, uh, they're having a ceremony, but uh, Ryan is going to stay here until Chu's paperwork and their marriage gets all approved and then they can both come back to the U.S. together. So that's a good way to do it. But a lot of people don't have that ability where they can wait and then come back to the U.S. later. The other thing is if you marry a line family in the Philippines, generally don't get it. You need to do something in person for them to be content. Yeah, well, that's why you get married online and you could have a ceremony later once you get here. So, uh, WF, thank you so much for the super sticker. I really appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I'm hoping to go to uh, Olongo Island uh, later. We'll see how the weather holds up. It seems okay right now, but uh, I do want to take that trip and, and film it, too. Province Girl reminds guys of the old image of Island Girl. I, I think you're kind of right there. They almost think that she's going to show up with uh, two coconut shells as a bikini top and flowers in her hair and a grass skirt type. I think they almost envision that, but it really isn't that way. Not anymore. Not with Internet being available everywhere. I don't know if province girls are any better than a city girl, to be honest. So, Okay. Well. This guy's a, and me and my partner have a degree. I'm British and a retired lecturer. My partner is a qualified teacher. How you doing, Dean? Good to see you. Avoid bar girls for sure. Well, yeah, bar girls, that goes without saying. That goes without saying. So province girls are more morena skin colored in beauty. I, I don't know if they're more morena skin color. I've seen plenty of Cindy girls who are morena too. But yeah, I, I, I think, again, that's kind of an image that people have. So how's the, I don't know. Um, I think Indonesia's infrastructure is probably a little bit better than the Philippines. Um, a little less expensive. <laughs> you can hear, I know, it's, it's kind of annoying, the construction going on next door. I truly feel that in general, a good Filipina can make the best wife a guy could ask for. We Westerners are gun shy because of what our culture has become. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's a troll in every, every stream. There's always a troll. Uh, personally, I would not have any worries about marrying a good woman from the Philippines. No, there, there's a lot of good women. There really are. Question for you. I've tried many times looking for a condo to rent over a month by Mocktown Newtown, having a hard time finding one at Airbnb. Um, you know, if you're going to be like a whole month, then you probably can reach out to an agent and they probably can find something short term for you. Uh, there's also another place called rentpad.com. I'll put that. Oh, excuse me. I'll put that link down here. But the uh, rent pad works pretty good. So I like that one. Uh, Gio, is it true if a Filipina is separated, if she is there in the United States, can get divorced with her ex-husband in the Philippines? No, um, that, that's not true. Uh, only if she is married to a foreigner. If she's married to a foreigner, that foreigner can get divorced in his home country and then you can go back to the Philippines and file for uh, um, recognition of the foreign divorce and the Philippines will recognize it. But two Filipinos, if you went to the United States, no, you can't get divorced. The Philippines wouldn't recognize that because it's between two Filipino citizens. Um, unless you became a Philip, uh, an American citizen, then you could. So. Uh, John, thank you for the uh, becoming a member. I appreciate that. Thank you. Let's see. Do you know anything about allowing of divorce law going through or has it been put on hold? Listen, the divorce thing has come up multiple, multiple times here in the Philippines, and it's always been shot down, and I haven't heard anything more about it. So chances are it's probably going to be shot down again. 
Let's see here. Yeah, there's there's um, all kinds of places here for rent. A lot. Yeah. The one thing that's horrible is rule that the foreigner can't own a home, etc. But Filipino guys I know here in America have right as citizens to own homes. Um, you can own a house in the Philippines. But you can't own the land, so you can lease the land. But you're right. They do have more freedom in the U.S. than we do here. So. I think I'm in love with a girl from the province. Any advice? <laughs> Just, uh, I mean, uh, I don't know. Same advice that uh, you would want for any relationship. Just uh, don't rush and give it time and get to know each other well. When you travel by scooter, do you endure the rain or plan travel around the rain? Sometimes you can't always predict the rain. I have poncho in my in my bike. If it rains really hard, I will pull over, put on my poncho. If it's light rain, I just slow down and drive carefully. Um, but if it rains really hard, I'll put on my poncho and either try to continue slowly or I will pull off to the side and wait it out. So it just depends. No offense, I don't want to be judgmental, but why get married online without ever meeting that person and live with her for a year at least? Well, I can't answer that, but maybe the two couples who married online can answer that. It was still busy uh, last Sunday. I'll actually video the this coming Sunday because we're closer to Christmas now. And so it, it'd be nice to film again here. Good evening from D.C. Any success rate in having a poly relationship in the Philippines? Um, I don't know. I don't know. What we did in Makkah Newtown was we walked into the condo building and asked them directly and they put us in touch with someone to rent a condo for nine days. Yeah, so you can do it that way too. Yeah. Uh, Gio, your thoughts on the dislike bar being removed from YouTube, the dislike bar. I don't know what you mean. What do you mean the dislike bar? I don't think it's removed. I think you can still like a video or dislike a video. I don't think it makes it. I don't. I don't I haven't seen it being removed. Uh, the way I see the world is far different than most can. I wish I could share my eyes with you. Yeah, I mean everybody's different. So you know, I mean, you know, you you, you just uh, you just don't know. Everybody's different. If it works for somebody, then, you know, more power to them. So I was thinking maybe Filipinos should just stop getting married until the government approves divorce. I think it might pass quickly. I don't think so. That's never going to happen anyway. <laughs> Speaking of rain, do you get weather emergency alerts on your phone for things like typhoons? Yeah. In fact, I actually had a weather alert on my phone yesterday. Let me see if I can... Uh find it here i'll show you guys but or maybe it's my other phone that i got the alert on so i agree with you ryan you just don't know until you're in the situation love has no boundaries yeah everybody's different you know um some people have no problem getting married online and you know but these are the messages you get um uh, if you can see that it says orange Rainfall warning for northern Cebu, you know, but you get those alerts when you have a local SIM card here. Most call center ladies here are educated. Best to select a lady who has traveled abroad. Communication is very important. Call center uh, girls are good because they typically have to have a good command of English. So communication is going to be better. If communication is better, then usually the relationship is going to be better. You know, if you get a girl in the province whose English isn't very good, it can be very difficult. So, is there, but it doesn't show the dislikes, public only likes, only creators can see how many dislikes now. Oh, really? I, I didn't know that. Huh. Huh. I didn't know that. Huh. Interesting. 
I agree with you, Gio. City girls seem to be conservatives, to be as conservative as our province girls. They are both beautiful. I, I agree. Yeah. You know, I, again, when I first moved here, I, it was just watching videos on YouTube and, and living here. People just kept pounding in my head. Oh, you need a province girl. You need a province girl. And in my head, I was like, God, I, I, I should really be with a province girl. But it doesn't really matter. Honestly, it really hasn't made much of a difference. So. Actually, I think divorce is too prevalent in the USA and people don't try hard enough to work things out in many cases. I actually agree with that statement, Joseph. I think divorce has become so easy and it's used as a as a tool. Like anytime there's an argument that people will say, well, I'm getting I want you want a divorce. And and I don't think people work things out. Um, divorce was really a stigma, you know, and and people. You just didn't get divorced. You work things out. Now, I'm not saying, you know, a girl who's in an abusive relationship or something like that shouldn't be allowed a divorce, but divorce has become almost too easy. My girlfriend and I traveled from D. I don't know what that, I don't know what that is. D. I met my girlfriend online, moved to the Philippines to live with her for three years. Now I'm planning on marrying online, going to cons consummate and bring her back to the U.S. I couldn't live there during now. During now, why Why not now? Like, it really is pretty open and everything here now, except for other than masks, um, which are even people are slowly starting to shed the masks even. So call center girls, retail, working in, in retail stores, department stores. Yeah. Yeah. They have to be able to speak some, some English. How can you marry a person without ever meeting them in person? Even after that, you really don't know the person. So you live under the same roof. Now, even though my friend got married online and I've got friends who, who married online, I will personally say I, I, myself i wouldn't want to get married online and the reason why is because i do think there is a whole other side to somebody when you live with them and i don't think you really know that side until you actually live with them for several months um and the walls start to come down and you start to see how they are at home you know um right now if you got married online and you're together for a couple months you're still kind of in the honeymoon stage so, but uh, I, I agree with that. Of course, back back in the old days, people never lived together. You know, they didn't live together. They married and then they moved in together. There was no living together. So I don't know. As usual in the Philippines, the couples have difference of age. The girl I met is seven years younger. She is the first year of university. Meanwhile, I have a merchant job. Good. I want to suggest to everybody much better that you have an LDR relationships first to measure both parties are serious. We came from three years LDR relationship and very proud of it. Yeah. Bringing a Filipino to the U.S. is very hard. It's almost impossible. Yeah. So, uh, let's get to some of this. Uh, you want a conservative Filipino girlfriend, then you res should respect her conservative culture. Yeah, absolutely. Every time you mention call center girls, my brain reads it as call girls. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're right, Joe. You don't really know someone until you live together. Also, this is not the 1900s anymore. Yep. Um. This could be the most freedom we see in our lifetime. Might be wise to take the plunge now. Yeah, you never know what will happen. My girl is from Old June and currently lives in Telesai City. She lives lived in Manila for four years, so I got the best of both worlds. Yeah, I, I have actually found that it's a fantastic mix. If a girl is from the province and then maybe moves out to the city for education, for schooling, or she moves out to the um, city for work, you kind of get the best of both worlds. So the longer men and women get to know each other in a relationship, they either like each other more or hate each other more. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, now, it, again, um, 
listen, people used to get married without ever meeting each other, you know, back in the old days, but that was the 1900s, of course. Um, I have Italian relatives back, way back, way back, that uh, got married. They were just kind of brought together and set up, you know, so. These days, it's easy to catch something. How do Filipino girls look at both getting tested before living together. I think if you made it your argument that way, that, hey, we should both get tested uh, instead of, uh, hey, you need to get tested, then I think they'd probably be a little bit more open because they realize you're doing it together, you know, for the safety of both of you. If you present it that way, I think that uh, that would be better than just saying you get tested. <laughs> so, yeah. Mail order bride, yeah. yeah. You say it's very hard to bring a Filipino woman to the USA. Why is it so hard? What is easiest visa to bring a woman to the USA on? The easiest visa to bring a, a woman to the USA would be on a fiance visa, K-1 visa. Um, tourist visas are next to impossible to get because they have a a high overstay risk, um, you know, so. Here in Davao, we get earthquake alerts on mobiles. They ask, did you feel the quake? Yeah. I've been married and divorced twice. I know everyone's different, but trust me when I say you need to know the person before you get married, people change. People do change, yeah. Um, I think it's important uh, to change together for sure. Uh, Gio, you're right. In the old days, it was just married and then you went. But Lord, times have changed for sure. For sure. The more person sleeps around, they have a hard time finding sexual satisfaction after finding the one to plan um, to stay with forever. There is a study that says that, yeah, the more partners you've had, the harder it is to uh, be happy in a relationship. So I think there's validity in that. First stop upon arrival, Philippine attorney for real estate and prenup. All else will fall into place. And a Philippines prenup is actually more ironclad than getting one in the West because it can't be disputed. Like if you get a prenup here, you get married in the Philippines, get a prenup, and then you move back to the U.S., that prenup is going to be more ironclad than, um, you know, the one in the U.S., People change after they get married. Yeah, I think they. I think people do get more comfortable. But again, I think you have to change together and just kind of grow together. So, actually, the CR one spousal visa would be the easiest. K one's faster, but more likely to be denied. But right now, they're about the same time frame. Depends on the MC. Yeah, good point. Here, most Filipinos, when on the beach and in the sea, are fully clothed and most cannot swim. That's that's true. If you go out in the province, you you don't see bikinis usually. You'll see a girl swimming in a t-shirt. Yeah. Divorces every 13 seconds in the USA. Why bother? Well, again, we're talking about being married here and living here. Then I think marriage is a much better idea than if I was staying and living in the USA, I don't think I would get married and live in the USA. Honestly, I probably wouldn't. Um, the one thing you do have to understand, if you get married in the USA or you take your wife to the USA, you are financially responsible for her for 10 years. 10 years. So if things go south, you're still financially responsible for her. Been married 25 years to my Filipino wife, and we met for all of six hours face to face. It's up to the couple to make a marriage work. Marriage takes hard work. Yeah, absolutely. I believe that. I asked my first wife to marry first date. We were married third date. We were married 45 years, never apart in anger. Honest truth is how you treat each other. Yeah. People change after the 90-day mark. It doesn't take marriage. Yeah, 
you start to see the real person after a short period of time, really. It doesn't take that long. Living together, even more so. It's easy to put your best front forward just out on a date, but living together, it's hard to do that. Yep. Yeah. So I think a lot of people based on the opinion that people change and you have to get to know somebody are basing it off of American women. Yeah. K1 visa isn't difficult. It's just time consuming. You have to have met and be able to prove it with photos and receipts. We went with rapid visa. They did a great job putting everything together. Yeah. Can she file for divorce when married in the USA online? Um, I don't, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I couldn't answer that. So Chu and I are one month in now here in the Philippines. I couldn't be happier on our decision to marry online. We are just so compatible with each other. And we knew that going in. Yeah, that's good. That's good. My 28 years younger Philippines wife has been in the USA seven years. Wow. Expect when your partner is wearing a bikini, she is criticized by Filipinos. Yeah, um, for sure. Let's see here. Gio, I saw your video going through the mountains using GPS. Did you get nervous when the GPS messed up on an adventure? I've done the same. No, not really, because I know if you head, you if you head in one direction or you start to go down, the GPS at some point will come back online again. So, no, I, I usually don't get too nervous about that. But I also, um, you can ask Filipinos, you know. A lot of them will know enough English, even way up in the mountains in the province, that they can point you in the right direction to get back down, you know? So, anyway. Uh, how you doing, Ephraim? What's up, Gio? What about that law rule that if a Filipina lives with you, she can claim some of your finances? Honestly, the percentage that that happens is next to never you know, so I really wouldn't worry about that so much. Just uh, take care of take care of her. Make sure she's in a better place than um, when you left her. Sometimes when people blame the other person, they often need to take a look in the mirror. That's true. All right. Uh, let's see. If you're a Western guy, don't go to the Philippines thinking your Filipina will change to your Western ways. Filipinas can be stubborn in their ways, at least the ones I did. Well, I mean, honestly, if you're coming here and you're going to marry here and you're going to live here, it's really you that needs to do the majority of the changing, right? I mean, it's not her responsibility. She's living it and, and she's in her country. Why should she have to change um, it's really you who needs to change. Now, if she comes to the U.S., then, of course, she's she needs to adapt and, and, and change. Now, she can still maintain a lot of her Philippine uh, customs and foods that she eats. You know, don't expect all that to change. But I really think if you're the one to move to her country, then it needs to be you who's really 75 percent changing for her. And maybe she changes a little bit for you, maybe. Uh, adapting some of the food that you like, things like that. So, anyway, I vote for a serious relationship before marriage. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Respect their culture. My mother told me that my mother got married in Italy to a third cousin. It wasn't unusual at that time. I, I have that in my family as well, going back a hundred years. That a cousin would marry a third cousin normal back then. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's, uh, that's what has to happen. And, and when she comes to the U S then, you know, she needs to adapt a little bit. It's just, it's just the way it is. Yeah. My ex-girlfriend and I enjoy traveling three months each year, 2018, 1920, several times to Dumaguete, 
Dowin, Mekong, Valencia, and to Cebu from Southwestern Universe north to Bantayan Island. Yeah, that's that's awesome. I, I love traveling. Never get tired of it. She's not going to eat mashed potatoes. <laughs> uh, well, some of them do. Some of them do. In Luzon, from Tagaytay to La Trinidad, Strawberry Fields, and to the whole province. Yeah, there's so many beautiful places here to travel to. Um, there really is. Just a, a, a lot of great stuff. Damn, gnats. They're like little gnats here in the Philippines. They're like flies, but they're just annoying as hell. Ah, coffee's gone. That's my one cup for the, for the day. So, yeah, if you guys haven't uh, seen it, uh, you know, um, check out uh, the online marriage that uh, we did today, uh, that Ryan did today anyway. <laughs> but um, hopefully the weather is, looks like it's getting a little better here. Many women here are overweight. My partner, Slim and Guapo, I'm tall, blue-eyed Brit who is active and not fat, likes a track, like attracts like, yeah, for sure. Not even with gravy. Uh, I wouldn't want a Filipina to change her ways. Why the hell would I desire an Asian Western type of woman? I totally agree. I mean, that's the reason why you come over here. You want them because they are Filipina, not because they're a Western girl. Yeah. Hey, good morning, Paul. Good to see you. I've been talking with an amazing, beautiful 40 year old Filipina from two months. She has been separated eight years and tells me an annulment will be around 4,000. Hope she's good with the long term relationship. An annulment is expensive. That sounds about right. Around 4,000 US dollars is, is about right. And uh, it will take long. It'll, it'll, it'll take some time for sure. Uh, thank you, Ryan, for the super chat. Go buy some vanilla, whether it's cologne or vanilla for like making cupcakes. They hate the smell and they'll go away. Really? I didn't know that. I'll try that. Hmm. I never heard of that before. Somebody told me get some apple vinegar and they go into the vinegar and drown or something. My wife only needs to see 11 more USA states to see all the USA states. Wow. Wow. You, she's gotten in some travel, huh? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, you just reminded me I forgot to buy and bring bug spray with me. <laughs> uh, I am on the sixth floor. I do have a balcony. It's uh, You can see the door leading to the balcony behind me there. So... Uh, Sabuana 101, as a Filipina, yes, marriage is necessary. It's not just paper. It's more than that. See, uh, this is what I'm talking about. For most Filipinas, very Catholic, it is a sacrament. And it is very important. It is not just a piece of paper for a Filipina. So. Uh, Grant, yeah, I would be honest about it. And... Um, let them know. A lot of them will say, yeah, it's okay, but you have to be honest about it. Now, you have a couple of options. Either one, you find an older Filipina who's not interested in having a baby. Maybe she's past that prime age. Two, you get your vasectomy reversed. Um, three, you go after a single mom. So, still going. I'm probably going to end here pretty soon, actually, though. But, uh, uh, by the way, one love. Thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, what's up, Gio? What areas have adequate infrastructure to work remotely from with solid internet connection 24-7? Um, Cebu, Cebu City IT Park, Cebu Business Park, Mactan Newtown, uh, Manila, Makati, uh, BGC, um, places like Places um, like any of the bigger cities, you can find this. Davao, Cagayan de Oro, Ilo Ilo. Um, you can find fiber. So it's, uh, yeah, it's it's good. Let's see here. When I watch these videos about Filipino women, they make 
sound like they're so different than others and maybe in some ways, but she's still like any other woman, respect her and appreciate her. Totally. I agree with that. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. Brent? Nope. Uh, never too late here. I want a Filipina who's like a Karen. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, I hate my job, but I have to be here for another year. Can I get some encouragement? <laughs> hang in there. Hang in there. You, you'll make it. To me, it's disgusting, but it shows what an average white guy with no game in his home country can do when he goes to Southeast Asia. Um, uh, old Geezer, thank you so much for the super chat. I, I really appreciate that. Thank you. And Joseph, thank you so much as well. Appreciate that, guys. Let's see. Uh, my journey has yet to begin. Neither marriage nor a serious relationship will be necessary for me. I need to take my time with exploring the Philippines. Yeah, you know, if you're coming out here and you want to explore, um, kind of put the relationship on hold and just kind of explore, enjoy. And then when, um, you know, when you've got that out of your system and you know the area that you want to live, that's when I always tell people, uh, search out a Filipina at that point. She's glad you had a vasectomy, huh? Okay. Uh, well, I don't really have a recommendation for you. Um, serious relationship. Is it okay to live together? Yes, it is. For a lot of Filipinas, it will be okay. But trust me, they do want to get married at some point. It is not. A lot of people say marriage is just a piece of paper. Yes, for us Westerner guys, we are kind of changing our mindset. And yeah, it is just kind of a piece of paper for us. But here it is not. It is much, much more than that. So to convince them that it's just a piece of paper, probably it's going to be very, very hard to do that. Um, yeah, most Filipinas would love, absolutely love a mixed baby. Absolutely. Marriage cannot happen for me in the U.S. because I got fleeced by the woman in the divorce. I'll do whatever for a woman I love, but can't sacrifice my livelihood. I would never get married in the West, but here I, I definitely uh, do plan on it. Gio, what is Gio short for? It's short for Giovanni. Here in uh, Dubai, we have DC Tech M megabytes, but average 100 megabytes download speed yeah i mean here i pay for the 35 up 35 down and my internet is constant always at that i'm always at that or even above and i have no problem streaming movies uploading videos live streaming video calls so i'm, I'm quite happy with the internet here if you go on dating sites, then you must have a good profile and photos to attract women. Men that are unable to attract women will fail online. Yeah, I agree with that also. You should have a good photo. Some people just, the photos are too casual. I think uh, a big smile goes a long ways. I think showing them something fun, like maybe hanging out at the pool or out on an adventure or someplace nice, um, instead of sitting on their couch at home, you know, with no smile on their face. So, yeah, I, I agree with that. Sorry, your oats and then repeat. <laughs> Just arrived in Australia for a family visit after 10 years in Vietnam, having buyer's remorse already planning to move to the Philippines early 2022. I like Vietnam a lot. I was actually quite happy in Vietnam. Um, I really was. So Vietnam... Um, Definitely a fun place to go. For a living, I don't know because the English factor is, is a bit hard. Unless you live in Ho Chi Minh City, Saigon, it's not so bad. You usually can find somebody almost everywhere that speaks English. So, I never watched your show this long and got to know what kind of person you are. And I have a more positive impression of you. You seem like a good guy. I, I appreciate that, Joseph. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, I've heard of Starlink. It's not available yet, but I heard that it's going to be available maybe within the next year or so. So I imagine that it will open up a lot of places around the 70. I think so. I think things will open up for people who need to work online. The 
you won't need to just live in a, in a big city anymore. You'll have diff different options. Sure, Gal. Yeah, I, I myself would definitely get out of the big city and go live more in the province. Um, I'm kind of happier there. If I have good internet, I have to have good internet. So, so I know the Philippines has a lot of scenic things to see, like beaches, malls, waterfalls, but how important is it for expats to bring their interests and hobbies with them to avoid boredom? I think it's extremely important. Um, a lot of people will come to the Philippines and just sit at home all day. You know, I, in, in the military, we called them barracks rats. They would go to this nice duty station and they would sit in the barracks all day. And uh, there are people like that here. They just sit at home all day. And if you're going to come out to this country in Southeast Asia, you got to get out and see stuff. And sometimes you need to do it solo. And I have no problem going solo on, on trips myself. I like to go solo, actually. I like being able to spend what amount of time I want at a place, eat when I want to eat, and, and do whatever. Yeah, it's nice to have company, too, sometimes, for sure. But I, I like to mix it up. I like to do solo as well. I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. I think the fiancé visa is going to stay that you will have to have met in person. But, you know. BGC or Makati are both good places. Yeah. I was guilty like some of your subscribers thinking Filipinos don't look good when they get older. I'm 50 and six foot five and met a beautiful 40 year old 411 Filipina who looks 25. I've been enlightened. You know what? Um, there are some beautiful older Filipinos too. So I wasn't happy in Vietnam 1971. No, I, I don't suppose you were. <laughs> For sure. From dating in the West, I think Filipinas may make the best girlfriends and they are good looking too. I agree. Starlink is going to be one of the, the best that she can get. Yeah. I lived in South Korea for a year and the girl I lived with was getting support from two different guys, but that was okay for me since she was with me all the time. <laughs> there you go. Um, Gio, how about doing some interviews with some of the girls that are looking to date foreigners? I would think that they would add some new subscribers to your channel. Well, I actually have a Filipina that uh, who's single and, and wanted to come on my channel. So I probably will have her on pretty soon. But I usually don't do those type of videos. That's more old dog, Paul in the Philippines, who does those. But yeah. Working out, vlogging, nature, dating, sleeping, well, are all basic things that everyone can do in the Philippines. Vlogging's very good for your own memories. Yeah, I mean, you can vlog and you can just make the um, unlisted videos if you don't really want to be a vlogger, but you want to journal your video journal, your experiences for family members and friends, you know, so... Yeah, I agree. I think uh, a lot of Filipinos age very well. Yeah. You know, some of them who've got a very hard province life, they're farmers or whatever. Yes, uh, it's things can be rough and they don't age so well, but that's not really their fault. The foreigners could own land in the Philippines and China would own most of the Philippines by now. That's true. And I think that's why uh, China or that's why the Philippines has that rule. You know, um, I don't really know, but uh, when they do die, if they are living here and they have a Filipina, then they usually can take care of the, uh, you know, they can take care of that. But if they want to get back to the state side, then there's some things that have to be done to get back to the states or back to your country. Geo should have another channel called Geo Date. <laughs> Yeah, I heard it's going to be expensive, around $100 or so a month. That is kind of steep. I pay 40 bucks a month right now. Single mom Filipinas still want children when making commitment to marriage and long-term life relationship with foreign men. My Filipina wants children, children with me, and she is a single mom. That's, that's true. That's true. I suppose it depends on her age, though. But they are more likely not 
too, because at least they've got a child already. So, yep, uh, today is a official holiday here in the Philippines. Yep, I will be going back to the States very soon, as soon as the Philippines opens up. A night out, one night show us the evening entertainment club bar. It's That is a little bit hard because a lot of places won't let me vlog on the inside of a club and stuff. And also, the vlog, if it picks up that music, it's not a monetized video for me, so... In Bangkok, it um, you can find people who speak basic English, but not fluently. They're not really good at it. That seems like a good idea to have a woman on here once in a while. I don't think some others, Facebook, do the best job of presenting girls on there. Yeah. I don't know too much about it, Mark, so I, I can't really comment. Maybe somebody else can... Uh, Kim. I've been watching you since before COVID, and I can say you seem like a good guy, honest, respectful, direct, and have a good open outlook about everything and appreciating your hard work. I, I joined. Well, thank you. I, I appreciate that. Much appreciated. Um, probably a couple months. A couple months, probably. Yeah. The Feast of the Immaculate Conception. Yeah, it's basically the Virgin Mary. I found my Filipina. She's never been married, no kids, and has a degree in computer programming. Wow. Wow. Got a good catch. Um, I kind of come from all over, but uh, Florida is where I really hail from. That's where I went to high school and college and started my military career there. So uh, I came back to the States, was going to stay for two months, which has turned into 15 months. Wow. I uh, don't expect that for me, but. Hey, Gio, saw your video of you being a witness for a wedding. I got married today, too. Wow. So excited to get paperwork started and get a 9A visa, getting it done. Yeah, Ken, from my understanding is it uh, takes around 30 days to get all that done. So congratulations uh, for two people today. We got Ryan, who got married online today, and, uh, and Ken. So two people. That's awesome. And uh, Ken, had you met in person or or you had never met in person? Just curious. So let's see. Satellite Internet. OK, yeah, that's right. OK, I'm in New Jersey, would prefer Florida. Yeah, well. My parents actually, I was still in, I was still um, in school at the time. My parents retired down in Florida, so I moved down with them. Uh, a couple of thoughts. It was over when she started her YouTube. We could see the difference. It was as if she knew what was happening and took it as a way up and didn't include you. Oh. Thanks for commenting. I, I have, again, I hold no ill regards to her whatsoever. I honestly wish her all the best in life. Um, and I'm actually happy that she's doing well and, and getting everything that she wants in life. So I'm very happy for her. But, you know, every, not everything works out. Too bad the timing isn't right. I take over your lease on your condo there. It's a good price compared to what I pay here in Hawaii. I'm getting my SRRV. And we'll move there around August. Yeah, I'll be, I will be out of here way before then. Yeah, because the Philippines closed down. So, uh, hey, Gio, I just started chatting with a girl, and I already know about her sick grandpa, about her back pain from laundry, and her needs for some painkillers. I think she's the one to avoid. <laughs> yeah. Never met in person, hours and hours of video chat. Okay, so we have uh, somebody else who took the leap of faith and uh, got married. So, awesome. How does it feel to be a YouTube star in the Philippines? Just being a Westerner there already makes you feel like a rock star. I don't know if I'm any kind of a YouTube star. In fact, I, I hardly think I'm a 
a, a YouTube star. Um, but uh, I, I do get recognized sometimes, but it, it, not as often as people would think anyway. Uh, if you understand that correctly, you come to Florida when you get back for a couple months, we'll be geo in Florida and we'll see things, blogs in Florida, like a drive on the Florida Keys. Um, I will go to a few different places. I'll go up north, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and I'll actually go to Florida as well. So, yeah. 17 months. Wow, that's a long time. Miss Paul. <laughs> no, I probably won't even see Paul. Paul's down in Texas. I won't even make it down to Texas. Uh, Paul's busy working now. So, But Paul did reach out to me the other day and he said he misses the friendliness of the people here. No, I will put uh, my stuff probably in storage. Um, and because uh, I got, I have a motorbike and I have some stuff. So I, I definitely won't, um, I definitely won't uh, take all my stuff with me. So well, let's see here. You better guy that I'm feeling that way towards your ex after her not guarding the relationship better just saying. Better guy that I'm feeling that way. Uh hey, you got your condo through an agent, right? But they can do it directly there and does it take long to move? I I moved in on day one. Uh I think my friend Mike here moved in on day one as well. Put a deposit and boom, he was moving in later that day. Yeah, I I, I'm not going to vlog in the keys, uh, but of course, Mike, you're not, you're probably never going back anyway. <laughs> so yeah, I'll go another 15 minutes guys, another 15 minutes and then we'll, we'll call it a day here. I got to get my day started here. So anyway, but yeah, this whole, whole, uh, video was basically, uh, cause I witnessed my friend get married online. And I know a lot of people are against marriage and don't want to get married. So, but uh, I think in the Philippines, it's, it's much more difficult to find a relationship. If you don't want to get married, a serious relationship that is, um, you can, but I don't, I think it's more realistic, um, honestly, to probably get married here than not to get married. Yeah, absolutely. You can rent here on a tourist visa. No problem. doesn't matter. Oh, you still got family there. Yeah, that's right. Open up my motherland, the beautiful Pearl of the Orient and the most giving people echoing Anthony Bourdain episode of Manila. Yeah. I will do some vlogging, not a lot, but I'll do uh, I'll do some. Yeah. If I manage to get over there by some miracle, can I have your motorbike? No way. Uh, my motorbike is uh, not for sale. <laughs> I love my motorbike. I really do. Hey, buongiorno, paisano. Let's see. Uh, do you plan to make your home in the Philippines forever? I, I can't say that with 100% certainty. It will be in Southeast Asia, though. Uh, joining late. If I make it back to the Philippines, I'll probably try and keep the single life. If I get into a relationship, I will let no marriages on the card. I heard that Carabao Road shed a tear when she found out you were leaving. <laughs> Poor Carabao. We want to see a vlog on the scooter from that highway that connects the keys. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I always get furnished condos. Um, but Ken, this was a brand new unit, never been lived in before. So it was all brand new furniture. And these types of places are available. I, I look for it all the time. And, um, yeah, you can definitely find it. So, yeah. Oops, let's see here. You don't want his motor. He stuck it up a caribou's ass the other day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the other day there was cows crossing the road. And there were so many cows that they were stopped in the road. So I gave it a little nudge with my motorbike to move it out of the way. Because they wouldn't move. I was honking the horn and they were just sitting around. So I gave it a little bump. 
That's what he's referring to. Hello, Jill. I like a girl in mobile and I want to meet her. How is life in mobile? She's 30 years younger, but I don't care about age. I want to live with her there and not bring her to Europa. Uh, mobile is a very touristy town. It is a beach town. It's famous for snorkeling and scuba diving and partying on the weekends. Uh, so for me personally, I'm not a big fan of mobile, but it does have some nice beaches, some great snorkeling. Uh, a lot of nature nearby. So it actually is pretty nice. Um, but I think you could probably move a little bit outside of mobile and probably be a little bit happier. So uh, thank you, Ken. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I, I definitely will uh, have a drink on you. Congratulations again, by the way. That's two marriages today. So uh, it sounds like somebody's being tortured. That is construction, a condo being built right next door. They're still breaking ground, and that's where all the noise is coming from. I predict that once that that part is done, I think it'll be better. So, yeah. I predict a mass migration of single men from the U.S. to other countries with better dating. I'm a big concern for single U.S. women, but they cause this. Uh, well, I wouldn't be concerned about them whatsoever. <laughs> I drove from Miami to Key West and the traffic at 11 p.m. is insane. The seven mile bridge was cool though. That would be a cool bridge for sure. Uh, I'll go another 10 minutes guys here. I think your serious relationship without marriage is more likely with an older woman, maybe just past her childbearing prime. She's probably more likely to think with her head and not her heart. That's true. That's That's a good point. I did not know that the Philippines was known as the Pearl of the Orient Sea. Very fitting. Hmm. I think Manila was, wasn't it? A long time ago, known as that. Yeah. When restrictions are over, the influx of money into the Philippines is going to be amazing. I think there will be a lot coming for sure. American women don't need no man. <laughs> That is the sound of torture and regret from the guys who just got married. <laughs> I mean, I'll I'll be honest. I'm I'm uh, I am open for marriage again. I, in fact, I would like to get married again. Um, I would never bring her back to the West, personally. Um, I'll stay here, and if I was going to move back to the West, I would not uh, get married in the West or have a girl living there. But. Uh, A mask for pollution. Um, I just use this one. And you know what's funny is even before the pandemic, it's very common for uh, motorbike riders to wear like a, a bandana or something kind of over their face. Because when the, the big trucks kick up dust and stuff, you know, so it was kind of normal that uh, people wore a mask when driving a motorbike just because of all the dust and stuff. Um, and then when you get up into the province and, and things like that, people would take the masks off. But going through the city, it's uh, it was normal. So, yeah. Yeah, I know. It, it can be pretty bad. Historically, the Philippines was first dubbed as Perla del Mar de Oriente, Pearl of the Orient Seas, in 1751 by Spanish Jesuit missionary, Father Juan Delgado. Oh, Okay. Well, thank you. I didn't, I didn't know that. Um, it's not open yet. Not open yet, but I think it will happen soon, sooner than later. Thank you, bro. You look uh, good, Gio, here. We are all tired of Corona, and we have, again, lockdown until 5 p.m. Europe is boring, and we not have a personal life. God bless. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, honestly, I like mobile. It's It's more fun to kind of live outside of mobile and then kind of come into maybe to go enjoy the beaches snorkeling scuba diving if you do like to go enjoy some bars and have a drink it's good to go into but i think living a little bit outside of uh outside of a mobile is probably the best so no my motorbike will definitely not get uh stored for years definitely that's the, but you never know i may sell it it's possible. I could upgrade when I get back. I don't know. 
people burn stuff a lot here. They do. They they burn trash and they yeah. Yep, uh, they are scheduled to do an uh, update in about another week. And I really think that uh, we're going to hear some positive news. If moving a girl back to the U.S. is the only option, would it be okay to bring a girl in her 30s or possibly early? I think that's probably much more safe, definitely, than bringing some girl who's in her early 20s back. I agree with that. Am I looking forward to the Philippines opening with all the foreigners coming? Yeah, I, I am because I, I don't want to be greedy and keep the Philippines all to myself. <laughs> but uh, when by the time it's opening back up, it's probably about the time where I'm leaving for a few months. So I probably won't be. Unfortunately, there'll be a little bit of a time period where I'm not uh, able to meet up with a lot of people coming in. Um, you know, that's just, just the way it is. I, I have to get things done. And when I come back, I'm not going to jump right back into the Philippines. I would like to kind of do a little bit of a tour, uh, Thailand, Vietnam, Malaysia, and then before I come back into the Philippines. Maybe at that point is when I'll be ready to settle into the Philippines and settle down. So I'm not anti-marriage, just at this time in my life, learn never to say never. Yeah. Besides Philippines, there will be a lot of other developing countries open to expat in the dollars. There's, there's, um, I mean, listen, you can get into Malaysia, Vietnam, Thailand, Cambodia. They're all Indonesia. You know, Mike's greedy. Mike wants to keep the Philippines to himself. <laughs> so, yeah, well, thank you, Izzy. Just had a talk to the Philippines embassy in India because it's night here in the U.S. And they said that they are issuing student visas. Well, that's fantastic news. Wow. That's that's an option for some people, maybe. Yeah, it's weird. Maybe they're just trying to kind of keep it hush hush. Maybe they're not really advertising. My impression of Thai women, you know, I had very good luck with Thai women. I did not. I only dated one Thai girl and she was my girlfriend and uh, we were together in person for about six weeks and then we maintained an online relationship for about three months after and i finally ended it we both kind of of a mutual ending because i knew i wouldn't be moving to thailand i was still living and working in the u.s after i had met her and uh, i spent about uh almost six weeks in thailand and bangkok and i traveled around a little bit too um, and the she was an accountant. She worked at home. She had she lived in a condo. I mean, she was successful, and she was older. I think she was like thirty six years old, and she was like beautiful. She looked fantastic. And um, so I- anyway, I, I've got uh, a good experience with it. But I knew I wasn't going to be moving to Thailand, and I I really am not a long distance relationship type person. And uh, eventually ended up taking a job in Cebu and the rest is history. So I still think personally, Filipinas match up better with Westerners. Um, the culture, I think, matches, meshes a little more closely than, um, than Thai women. And also, I think they're a little bit more doting on their husbands and want to take care of you a little bit more than, uh, yeah. So I met a Thai woman who had two kids and brought her mother with her. And we stayed in a two bedroom condo, which was the city her sister was working in. And then later found out she was married. Yeah. Yeah. I I had a really, I mean, she, she had a nice condo. In fact, when I got to the uh, Thailand, I had had a hotel and after one week, she said, just come and stay with me. So I ended up staying with her the entire time after that. Yeah, that's not a, that's not a good experience. I hear that Thai women are very aggressive with men more. Uh, uh, they do seem to be a little bit more aggressive, yeah. I agree. I think Filipinas are much more compatible. Um I just had the one experience. I'm not any expert on dating Thai women because I just had the one girl. Um, And it was a really good experience for me. Just unfortunately, 
I look for a job teaching in, in Thailand and they were just extremely low paying. And so I never, it just never worked out. So anyway, hi, Gio, uh, Renalins and Lapu Lapu, maybe you'll run into her. Oh, okay. Uh, who is Renalin? Is that a, a vlogger or something? I, I'm not sure. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm about to end it here. I've, um, you know, I've gone 90 minutes here. Again, congratulations to Ryan and uh, Ken for their marriages today. And um, anyway, I, I wait for the Philippines next week to come out with some news. Let's hope, hope that uh, it's some good news coming out. Anyway, so thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Take care, everybody. See you next time. Congratulations uh, to those who got married today. Take care.